hello everyone welcome to our channel guys today we are going to discuss about the molecular mass in a polymer we know about a molecular mass in an atom that is in the case of metal and that corresponds to basically if you write m then it corresponds to the mass of one mole of atoms okay in the case of metal similarly suppose you have a polymer so there also the m it denotes basically mass of a chain of mass of a mole of chains okay so that means in a polymer in place of atoms we have chains okay you can think like but one complication here it arises the chains which are there that are not of the same length it may be of the same length that is the ideal case but generally all the chains which are there are of different length so how to define like that so to define that uh, we can divide the size range in which the chains lie okay so according to different size range so there will be the mass associated with that so now suppose suppose i take the size range as like 1 micrometer to 5 micrometer so this is the one length so this is the size range where the uh, length of the polymer chain is there so what will be the mass of that that will be m so we will take one mole of this chains okay and that we write it as m okay so similarly for this one which is of higher length so we will have again some value m and this m will be higher than this m because of different length of the chain okay so that's why the concept of molecular mass the average molecular mass that is the number average molecular mass and the weight average molecular mass comes okay so that will understand by this concept be simple okay so let us see this so now suppose you have a polymer <coughs> that is of shorter length so that has a weight of 2 g okay it is given here another type of polymer chain that is of 5 g and another of 9 g okay so there are three type of polymer chain in a polymer so here it is assumed that only three polymer chains are there okay three types of polymer chains are there and for this 2 g of weight of the polymer chain we have two polymer chains we have seven polymer chains of this 5 g and four polymer chains of this 9 g okay now if you simply if you simply just do the calculation where you take the average value like 2 5 and 9 so this will give you like 5 to 7 plus 9 so it will be 16 by 3 so that will come something around 5. Point, okay 5.3 i guess right 5.3 okay but the average here it is taken it is not considering that the number of different chains are different okay so it is the case to counter that we need to take the average on the basis of number so we will multiply here this this is of two numbers so 2 into 2 g 7 into 5 g 4 into 9 g divided by total number 2 plus 7 plus 4 so that will give us the more correct molecular weight in this case so this is the number average molecular weight okay so it makes sense because the number of different polymer chains are different so that's what we do it so that that is what we write it like sigma ni small n that is the number of chains of that into mi mi the molecular mass of that chain 
डिवाइडेड बाय सिग्मा कैपिटल एन आई कैपिटल एन आई इज द टोटल सम ऑफ दिस पॉलीमर चेंस वे आर दैट टू प्लस सेवन प्लस फोर राइट दिस इज वॉट वी डू फॉर द नंबर एंड वॉट वी डू इन द केस ऑफ वेट एवरेज वेट एवरेज वी टेक इट लाइक वी हैव द वन चेन ऑफ टू ग्राम राइट वी कैन सी ईच चेन वेज टू ग्राम सो दे आर टू चेन सो वॉट इज द टोटल वेट ऑफ दैट चेन सपोज इट इज लाइक दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज लाइक दिस दीज आर ऑफ सेवन दीज आर ऑफ टू ग्राम चेन ओके एंड सपोज दिस इज ऑफ फाइव ग्राम दे आर सेवन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड दीज आर नाइन नाइन वन आर लाइक फोर यू कैन थिंक लाइक दैट ओके समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस टू चेन्स विच आर ऑफ टू ग्राम इट हैज ए टोटल वेट ऑफ फोर ग्राम राइट एंड सेवन चेन्स लाइक दिस विच आर ऑफ फाइव ग्राम सो दैट वी आर राइटिंग लाइक सेवन इंटू फाइव दैट इज थर्टी फाइव ग्राम एंड दिस फोर चेन्स ऑफ नाइन ग्राम द टोटल वेट इज थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम सो यू कैन थिंक लाइक देर इज अ सिस्टम where it is distributed something like that one is of 4 grams then 35 gram this is of 4 gram 35 gram and 36 gram it is distributed something like this okay now you want to find the average of that you want to find the weighted average of that so in case of weight this is the total weight we take okay and this is the weight and when we take the weight fraction so we will write like 4 divided by this 4 plus 35 plus 36 this will give you the fraction of that weight so that's what here it is done you can see this is the 4 here and the 2 g is the initial weight of this polymer chain length okay so 4 into 2 then 35 into 5 Then thirty six into nine divided by this total weight four plus thirty five plus thirty six. So this is giving you five zero seven percent. So this is giving you six point seven six. Okay. So this is what we write it like. This is the weight fraction into mi. Where W I is equal to weight fraction. Okay. Okay. So the difference between number average and the weight average, molecular mass, you are able to understand from this. Okay. Next, this is the example here. and we need to fill this table so i will do it for the first row and the next you can do by yourself okay see this is the mi that means the molecular mass of that particular chain okay and we have two number of chains like that so xi xi is basically the number average so number average will do like 2 divided by how many total number are there it is 14 so 2 by 14 So we can write here two divided by fourteen. That is equal to zero point one four two eight. Okay, so it will be zero point one four two, right? And here uh, for this case, okay, for this case, this uh, x i into m i. So it will be zero point one four two into ten thousand. Four two into ten thousand. So it will be one four two zero, right? And this W I, and to find this W I, okay. Okay. So this is the weight here. This capital W I. It is asking for the total weight of a particular chain in the first case. So there are two chains of ten thousand. So it will be twenty thousand, right? Here. Then here it will be like three into twelve. So 36000 something like that 
so this 20,000 you know divided by so it will be 20,000 divided by this complete sum so this complete sum will be how much so that we will have to do so I think we will have to do here because here the total weight is not given so we can do it like this then 14 into 3 this is 42,000 17 into 4 so 68,000 then 42,000 so if you add these things 42 plus 68 plus 42 plus 36 plus 20 so it is 208,000 so this 20,000 divided by 208,000 is equal to 0 0.96 so it will be 0 0.096 so this is the weight fraction and we have to multiply with the initial weight right so it will be 960 okay so this will be 960 so now let us see okay so these fractions are there and accordingly you will get this is the <coughs> number average and this is the weighted average and if you see the graph of these two okay okay one more thing is there poly disparity index so that comes by simply taking the ratio of mw by mn okay so this gives you about the poly disparity if the poly disparity is very close to one so that means the weighted average and the number average is same that means there is very good distribution of the chains means there is no uh, very large variation between them okay so it did not start and if you see the chart then the number average comes lower okay than the weighted average okay so this is your as we increase the amount of polymer that means the number of polymer chains that it is going to increase so basically the number average it, it will be lower than the weighted average so <clears throat> okay so this difference will come if this poly disparity index is greater than one if it is equal to one then these two will be closure okay so that's what the meaning it wants to say okay guys so hopefully this will help you to understand the differences between them okay so thank you